Well, hello there, guys and girls. Lovely to see you. My name's Mikey, and welcome back to a little bit more of Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution with Mikey Mega Mega live on twitch.tv forward slash Mikey Mega Mega. Hello, YouTube. Maneuvers in the dark. Sent to Highland Park to investigate a signal, Jensen discovered more than he bargained for. A secret FEMA facility temporarily occupied by Black Op mercenaries. The same mercenaries who left him for dead six months ago, forced into combat with a soldier named Barrett, Jensen proved victorious. That's me. Emerging from battle with a corpse on his hands and another possible lead, an apartment complex in China named the Hengsha Court Gardens. Oh my god. Jensen, I need wow. to speak with you. Meet me in your office right away. I'd love to, Francis, but I have to debrief Sarah first. I suppose you could, or you could hear what I have to say and see if that doesn't change things. Pritchard out. Ooh. So, what does Pritchard want to tell us, which is more important than me going straight to my boss for a debrief? Interesting. Now, before we go up and talk to old Pritchard, uh, old Farida Malik uh, got us a quick exit out of Highland Park at the end of the last episode. How are we doing, relationship-wise? I can't believe it, Jensen. An internment camp smack dab in the middle of Detroit. Shit. Also, would you believe I've forgotten my glasses? I'll have to get my glasses in a minute, guys. So we're back. We're back in beautiful Detroit. How are you guys doing? This isn't the Terminator. It's near enough, mate. Hey, lover Ruby. Hey, Hamongchi. God of high school. No, any good man? Wait, is that the one? Is that the one that's made by um, the same guy, the same team who did One Punch Man? Oh, no, I'm thinking of the psychic boy. Anyway, guys. Thoughts? Hey, boss, you been up to see Mr. Seraph yet? Ask me to remind you to go see him, if you haven't yet. Interesting. Seraph is so desperate for me to go ahead and see him ASAP. I think I'm going to talk to Pritchard. Good old Dick Richard. Richard the Prick. Love the name. For a character that's designed to slightly annoy you, calling him Pritchard is like the best thing they've ever done. I think they're on the other floor, however. What could the head of our... Secure technology security guy Wanna tell me so important that he's in my security office. So I'm physical security. He's cyber security So to speak Wait what? This was his first time in Detroit and he started telling me how we came here in 06 for the last game of the ALCS You know when Kenny Rogers was spraying champagne everywhere. I hate baseball. So while he's telling me this, Denny comes over and tries to ask him something. But Tagger just holds up a hand, turns to me, and says, Excuse me, will you? I thought it was a pretty polite gesture for somebody everyone keeps calling superior. I'm sure Mussolini mm. is polite too. Oh dear, this guy's falling in love with a bigot. So we've got David Sarif, my boss, another pioneer from the generation before of cyber technology, Another guy called Hugh Darrow. And then we had the other dude, this Taggart guy. He's the guy who's moved into town to give a speech. And he hates biogenetically altered humans. He's a bit of an old schooler. Let's vibe into game mode. Welcome in, my friends. Oh, it's a giant tournament. What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, Mob Psycho. I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. Hey, wait a sec. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. Oh my god. You killed Sarah? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, Just and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Oh my god. What secret data were they sending? Why did my boss work so closely with my ex-girlfriend? 
Rachel! She was taken from me. By those goddamn mercenaries. What next? They're vivacious. My posture is great, thank you very much. But now, welcome, handsome Bill. I must find out what's happened. God damn it. Okay, guys. Holy shit. Why is my boss, David Sarif, using a backdoor firewall? And why was he transmitting so much data through it around about the time that I became an employee? Why am I caught up in this mess? I'm just a man who didn't ask for this. What is that data? Why don't I need neuropathine? Why am I taking so well to the augments? There's something going on. Guys, should we get to the bottom of the mystery? I love mysteries. Thank you, I'm thoroughly enjoying uh, watching God of High School. The author really knew his stuff in martial arts. Oh, that's always a bonus. Inspiration from games are quite obvious, like King of Fighters, Tekken, and Street Fighter. Okay, it comes with a recommend. I'll see what we can do. All I hear is Vacoon. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Let's go see the boss. Where are the elevators? Actually, is one of these offices Pritchard? I can. I think I can break into the offices here. I should have a security rating. That allows me to physically go into other people's offices without having to hack. Okay, here we go. Right, let's go talk to the boss. It is bloody mysterious, though. Ashley and Bill. Oh, one true Morty. It's that mid-Atlantic, whoa, kind of vibe. Jensen's is definitely more affected than Keanu's. Whoa, why are there so many people here? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? <laughs> Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing <clears throat> down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. Why is he bringing that up? Mm, there's no point confronting him. I'm head of security. I might not like this guy for being a bigot that's trying to put an end to cyber enhancements, but I also don't want to embarrass my boss on his home turf in front of our guest. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart, but it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Oh. Now, if you'll be so kind to excuse me. I wondered which would break first. Your spirit or your body. Hmm. Do we have any questions for our mystery man over here, my delicious friends? I'm curious, what is it that you hope to accomplish by coming here? Not just yet, you've got balls coming here, bruv. Hmm. A quick bit of questioning. I'm curious about something, Mr. Taggart. What is it you hope to accomplish by coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. 
About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. <gasps> this enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. You think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? Oh. You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Anytime. Mm, that was illuminating, though. This guy is basically saying we're all on opposite sides of an argument, but we're the powerful people at the top. This guy is basically calling for some kind of conspiratorial league of powerful people that have a unified vision of how they should affect the growth of humanity. Now, that might seem creepy. Just you. But the problem is, we know that there's already a league of powerful, creepy individuals affecting the future of humanity. So I start to wonder, what's going to happen to a powerful man who wants to be in control of things when there's another powerful group of people already sitting in the shadows? I hope you're good at your job, Mr. Head of Security. You're Taggart's aide, aren't you? Dr. Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. Frankly, I am surprised an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours. Mm. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet once he was, too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. Ooh. I suggest you think long and hard on that. Mm. I'm not going to push this guy. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. He looks a bit too ready for an argument. He was getting too worked up. Uh, I'm wearing shades, by the way. Because, uh, hello there. Oh, it's all bright. I can see again. This game is famous for being incredibly yellow. It's like the most richly yellow filtered video game you can get on a PS3. Uh, also, I left my glasses downstairs. So I'm going to get my glasses when I go on a break. But until then. I am Adam Jensen. And I'm too cool for school. Hope you guys are doing well. Ah, Torch, question him. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. Uh, Jem, thank you very much for the Illuminati symbology. Very, very present. Uh... <laughs> oh, gee. One sec. Ah! You think darkness is your ally? Well, I was born in it. Molded by it. By the time I saw the light, it was merely a man. Wait, was it? By the time I saw the light, I was already a man. It was nothing to me but blinding. Oh, anyway. I've still got tea in the bottom of my mug, so my chin's touching it. Let us not stand on ceremony here, Mr. Wayne. <coughs> anyway. <laughs> Jesus, let's talk to the boss. What year is this? Holy moly! What year is this good sir? Jephias! Was that you? Jephias, thank you so much for the 29 months. This is Cyberpunk 2027. We are 50 years earlier, 50 years before the events of Cyberpunk 2077, which is of course coming out soon. Ah, <sighs> you lovely, lovely people. Who's the president? Hey, that guy took my pants. Boss? I forget how nice his place is. His place is really dark. Oh no, there we go. Boss? You're looking a bit mopey, Mr. Sarif. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? Ooh. <laughs> I what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before <clears throat> the first attack. 
The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them, because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Ah. Oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. Oh, sus. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board, Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. Ooh. I have never seen Mr. Sarif, the big man himself, look so dodgy. How are you? How do you play these with glasses? Neuroflex. Easy. Everything that I lose in my ability to see the game, I gain by feeling really cool. So I get plus one charisma. Also, Itami Itami. One man, Itami Funko. Always gifting out subs. Always being so generous. I didn't choose this. It's Hummy. Thank you so much for dropping a gifto into the community. Adam. Dropping on Jules 25. Are we done here? Oh shit, let me talk to my boss. Well, well, well. I'm not going to play, Kate. Uh, I'm not going to defend. I'm going to refocus. But that breach is responsible for every crisis. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. Hey, Tommy, how you're you doing? Right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. The truth is, I've had a lot of other things on my mind. I'm trying to secure a future here for all of mankind. I can't let trivial security concerns get in the way when people like Bill Tagger want to see me fail. No, you're my best warrior, Adam. And I, and I trust you. I know the loyalty you've shown me will only continue as we take this fight into the future. Because that's what's really important, isn't it? The future. He's giving me the politician's rubdown. I've heard that kind of talk before. You don't need to placate a man who tries shit like that. Okay, we're either going to refocus. Boss, you're sidetracking. I need to know what was in that stream. Or I'll take a more defensive measure. Yep, the only reason I'm worried is because your shit is getting stolen. I'm going to go for a defensive Adam, rub. Are we done here? No, no, no. I'm deciding what to say to you. One minute, let me think. Defensive rub, then another refocus, maybe. I think I proved myself today. And the only reason I'm worried about that loophole right now is because the data you streamed through it could have been accessed, backtraced, and stolen by the men who attacked us. Our enemies might still find a way to hurt us with it. First of all, I wasn't questioning your integrity. And don't you think you're being just a little bit paranoid here? Ooh. Everything I've done has been to secure a future here for you, me, Frank, and everyone else in this team. I'm constantly looking for strong people to help me do that. The very best people I can find. Because if I don't, Seraph Industries will fall. Megan understood that. That's why she insisted I hire you in the first place. Don't you dare say her name. Megan? Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I am trying to do my job. The job you hired me and even bought me back a month early for tonight. But it feels like you're getting in the way. Hmm. One last refocus. Megan? Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I thought we were discussing a security breach. She doesn't. I mean, I, I mean not, not directly. If I'm reluctant to share the data with you, it's because there's legal issues involved. Every company has its secrets, son. And Megan's research was a big part of ours. Hey, Kite, sir. But the data I streamed has nothing to do with her. It wasn't even proprietary in nature, so I don't want you wasting any more time harping on it. The shareholders expect me to take care of it, and I will. So leave it to me to deal with from here. Kaito, thank you very much for the take a sip. Eva, lovely to see you. How was your stream last night, you lovely thing? 
It's Army. I've just woken up, had a very late D&D session last night. Oh, did you guys go long? Any highlights you want to share with us? And Tab also redeemed take a sip. I'm going to go for a wee in a minute. I'm wearing my shades because I left my glasses downstairs. Okay, let's put Kate and move on. I don't care. Boss, I'm sorry if you think this is a big waste of time. I just don't want to see anyone else getting hurt because of information I didn't have. But if you really believe this data can't hurt us, that it won't come back somehow and bite us in the ass, then I'll trust you. I can't be 100% sure of something like that, Adam. No one can. God damn it. All right. <gasps> Look, Yo! the truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people. We unlocked it. Special new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. Hey, I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, Ooh. come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Oh my goodness, guys. We actually managed to talk. It's just the right amount of push, pull, defend, tug. And then we gave him a little bit of placate in the end. You've earned a trophy, yes, boss. And he actually shared the data with us. Okay, he sent it to my computer. But sometimes you can't unring the bell. Mmm. You can't put the jizz back in the willy. Do you know what I mean? Once you pop, you need to start cleaning up. The mess is out there. Good to know. Hades, how are you? Talk about jizzing. Hades Ash is here. Imagine Cyberpunk will be uh, like this conversation, but better. Tab, exactly. That's why we're playing this game. This is set in the year 2027. So this is 50 years before the upcoming Cyberpunk 2077. So yeah, let's like, let's do the derping now. Because after we play the new Cyberpunk game, we probably never want to touch this stuff again. So let's enjoy it now whilst we can. He sent the data to my computer. Hey, yeah, uh, we like her. Athena. Sorry, Adam, I can't help you right now. I'm trying to deal with the fallout from the Taggart meeting. No worries. You're cool. Hmm. Detroit. My city. What's going on? Okay, let's go to my sweet, sweet office. Which is still maybe one floor up again? Didn't this happen last time? <clears throat> no, I think I've passed the stairs. Hey, new flex. Wait, is Deus Ex Canon to Cyberpunk? Tab 9. It is for you and me. As far as we're concerned, we're, we're enjoying one great big story. Wait, 74 meters up? Oh... Checking my own computer is optional. Well, let's do it anyway. Is this my room? Security manager, Adam Jensen. That's me. What did boss send to my computer? Oh. Is it this computer? Oh. Words aren't enough to Adam Jensen. Mr. Jensen, I meant what I... Oh, wrong one. Confidential. Mr. Jensen, your penis enlargement fills have arrived. Oop, wrong email. From David Sarif. Read the paternity test. I had a friend at Geneva Labs run the test off the records like you asked. Does your subject know that neither of his parents are his birth parents? That surprised me. The mother was sterile according to the old medical records I dug up, but his dad carries no common phenotypes either. See for yourself. 
How do I scroll up and down? Oh. The mother, Margie Jensen. Caucasian. Father, Arthur Jensen. Caucasian as well. My boss did a deep dive research into me before he employed me, and he's known this whole time that my parents aren't my real parents? And my girlfriend had some secret files that she was working on related to me before she got killed? And even though I've got two massive robot arms, for some reason I don't need to take neuropazine at the limb clinic? What the fuck is going on? Chibi, how are you doing? <clears throat> One sec. Let's go back in, we had two more emails. Tommy, I'm gonna read your thing in just a sec, bruv. Confidential. Brent, it wasn't easy, but I finally backtraced some of Margie and Arthur Jensen's past through their medical files. Arthur Jensen had enough connections through his old Desert Storm buddies turned security consultants to have certain records pulled, which is why the family is a ghost, but he couldn't hide Margie's records. For a period of eight years, Arthur relied on the insurance policy of his then employer, White Helix Labs, to pay for his wife's medication. She was on antidepressants since 14 and needed regular prescriptions. When White Helix Labs was burned down, all of its files and employment records were lost and the Jensen stayed invisible. Mostly. I drank that tea at a weird angle. <laughs> it all splashed. Gross. Here's the thing. One minute Adam doesn't exist and the next the Jensens have themselves a bouncing healthy five-year-old. That's when they pull their vanishing act. So on a hunch I sniffed around some more and sure enough, the Jensen's had tried adopting kids from several Michigan agencies, but Margie was deemed unfit as a parent. Next thing you know, they have Adam. There's no real trail saying how he was placed in their hands. Could I be a stolen baby from a medical laboratory that got burnt down? Oh my god. Mr. Sarif, I found Adam Jensen's psychiatric evaluation following the SWAT incident with the augmented team. I managed to sneak a look at the folder, but I couldn't copy it. At least not yet. I'll be honest with you. The psyche valve doesn't paint a pretty picture. It mentions the problems with authority figures, a disregard for the chain of command, anger management, and potential PTSD, definitely. Here's the thing. When you hired me, you said you wanted me to read between the lines, so here it is. The evaluation reads like fiction. I'm thinking a pissed off superior wanted Jensen off the force and had the evaluation worded to read like just cause. But most of the rank and file I spoke to respected and liked Jensen, but they thought he was a real straight shooter, even though SWAT incident soured his reputation. Still, my source liked him enough to want to keep his psychiatric eval buried. Yo, fuck. Oh my god, guys, that is a lot to take in. I might be a baby from a medical research lab? Hmm. And maybe I don't need to feel... I mean, I know that I don't need to feel guilty about the Mexico incident anyway, because um, it's the police officer at the front desk at the Detroit PD. He's the one that shot the kid. <laughs> uh, anyway. Right. Let's have a quick look at what you guys are writing, and then I'm going to go for a wee break. One minute. Itami says, uh, they went through uh, All Ball Hell by the Emperor. And one of the player's tyrannical husbands, who is the ambassador of Drenixi, the kingdom of the dying race of the Dragonborn, was verbally attacking the Emperor, and any Imperium is currently undergoing preparations for their holiday Hallow Falls. So two side quests that I prepared. Um, one of them's decorating the city and their base, and the other's a mysterious shop in an alley. Nice. The Thick Plottens? Hades understands good literature. Guys, I think I need to go on to... This is a complete side thing. I think I want to get some private dental insurance because I have my molars and my back teeth taken out. And instead of chewing with the muscle here, do you know when you get a good crunch at the back of your teeth and you enjoy some food and this muscle's just like... 
because I choose slightly more forward, I get really thick muscles here. And this might sound random, but I was having a really crunchy lunch. I had like onion rings in the oven and um, fried chicken strips with loads of like, you know, barbecue batter. So I was crunching like a motherfucker and I went to brush my teeth and in the mirror, my face went like this. Beep. With these massive pulsing muscles by my eyes. So we need, we need to, uh, I need my teeth back at the back. Look at that. I, I'm missing one row anyway. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm worried, I'm worried about big, bulging, weird middle head things. But like, seriously, like I was crunching for ages. You know when you get in a zone when you're eating and you just space out and you're just like... By the time I was brushing my teeth, I was literally pulsing. There was like pumping. It's on me. That sounds fantastic. You lovely people. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go for a wee break. And then we're going to, um, you know, thicken our plot accordingly. Yo, yo, tablet, tablet, tablet. Yes, yes. Yeah, one sec. I don't even know what this is. I've got a half opened. Make sure it ha hasn't got my address on it. This side. I've got a half opened tablet box here. But if you look here, I've never actually taken it all the way out. So I owe somebody a tablet review from a long, long time ago. Is this even a tablet? Let me find my knife. One sec. Oh, I forgot my glasses. What's TMJ, Gem? Pulsing muscles in your face. You know what that means, right? Two... <laughs> Two weeks! Any uh, fruit or vegetables or other items? Two weeks. Get ready for a big surprise. Oh, it's a Gaumon. What is this? Guys, welcome to Mikey's surprise tablet giveaway unboxing review. Yo, 
Galmon sent me this um, at Christmas a couple years ago. Holy shit. So back when I was reviewing Galmon products, um, one of the ladies who worked for them, like, uh, we were just friendly. So, like, you know, she was all up in my WhatsApp and stuff, and we just kept touch. And she works for a completely different company now, but she's always kept in touch. So ages and ages ago, she sent me... Like, it wasn't, it wasn't for a review. They weren't like, please review this tablet. She was just like, Merry Christmas, I've sent you a gift. I was like, oh, thank you. Guys, you can't, I don't think you can get this in England. Because there's nothing English <laughs> on this. It's uh, the Galmon. The Galmon WH850. I'm sure this, I'm sure you can get this all, all over the world. WH850 graphics drawing tablet. I think it's wireless. Yeah, I think this tablet is wireless and I think you can use it as a USB. Or maybe this is a wireless dongle. So guys, anyway, this is what I was getting at a bit earlier to um, our people who'd recently subscribed or resubbed. At the end of the month, I am giving away the Galmon WH850 drawing tablet to one of you lovely subscribers. Um, so I'm going to chuck this out to one of you lovely people. I'm sorry if the box is ever so mildly dented, but the insides are pristine. I'm hoping there's no sexy letters and personal nudes from um, my contact in here. Uh, yeah. 2.4G wireless connection, I suspect. I suspect. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a little wireless symbol. Is that Bluetooth or Wi-Fi? I'm not sure. So, guys, at the end of the month, I'll be giving this away worldwide to one of you delicious friends. Uh, and all you have to do is be subscribed here on Twitch. That's literally it. And you'll be in for the uh, raffle. God, you know what? I've had that box. I've never, I've never opened that box. All nudes to be approved by mods. Yeah, 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 I know. I know, I know. This guy's got the right idea. Guys, I'm so sorry to turn through. Let me actually get my glasses, though. One sec. Okay. Oh. Oh. God, this chair is such a fucking pain in the ass since it broke. <laughs> if there are nudes in there, she's going to be one sour, rejected, and pissed off lady by now. Oh my god. No, she's messaged me since on her WhatsApp. There didn't seem to be any hatred or scorn. I thought that would get his attention. I guess he's a bastard after all. Little does she know that I'm just terrible. I am just terrible at living my life. <laughs> WhatsApp, yeah. Good luck getting in touch with me on WhatsApp. <laughs> okay, um, can I have some water? Okay, guys, so many revelations many revelations so now that we've read that let me clean my glasses and let's go back to my boss let's go back to david sarif who knew that i was a mystery baby the whole time good luck getting in contact with mikey at all yeah anywhere ever yeah
ever since I was a kid, people were like, you know, what's your fantasy? What's your dream retirement? What do you want to grow up and do? And I've had the same answer for most of my life. I want to live in a house in the woods that's really hard to reach. With like maybe a thousand steps, like a Shaolin temple. But with really, really good Wi-Fi. Now I'll settle for this house. But I'm pretty much living my retirement dreams right now. That's my dream for sure. See, I knew you guys would understand. Okay, guys. We're back in. Oh. Athena tells me you spoke to Sarath. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Sarif spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're friends, really. Yeah, sorry, Pritchard. I've got some of my own baggage all of a sudden to deal with. Let's go back to the boss. Can you tell the difference of the main plot of this game versus the side plots? The main plot of the game is like intrigue and loads of juice. And the side plots are just me getting shot in the face. Where's that lift again? I swear to God, I keep... Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, you lovely people. No, for reals though, where's the... I don't think a thousand steps will be enough to keep Eva away. Yeah, she um she does ass to grass when she does her squats. She's got powerful legs. It's fine. What I'll do is I'll just make a password on the gate, which is just five back-to-back -back filthy swear words. She won't be able to bring herself to do it. Sorry, Adam. I can't help you right now. I no worries. Okay, I read the documents. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? China. FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Wow. <clears throat> We're going from one clue straight into the next. Hengshua Court Gardens. Now there is a completely different biotechnology group that grew out of China. I wonder if we're going to have to uh, butt heads with them at all. Interesting, interesting. She can hear you, you nerd. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know. Everything I'm saying is legit. Guys, am I... Now, this might sound stupid. Am I personally big enough? I'm just talking about the amount of Mikey you get. I don't I don't mean making my window any bigger. But I could zoom in so there's more face. Or are you happy with this much Mikey? Enough that you can see my safe space if I lean back. That's not a... That's not a euphemism. Uh, a more than fair comparison, I approve. Wait... Never send Mikey a tablet. You guys can send me stuff. So, okay, so I have another bonus box over here. One sec. So this is it. Unless I desperately have to open something, I won't open it. So this is... I'm not kidding. 
I am I'm very good at leaving shit alone. I have a very uncurious nature. For someone who loves designing and exploring ideas, I love exploring ideas. I don't like opening unsolicited mail. So just over here, so obviously you've just seen that that tablet was a gift from a while ago. Right in the corner of this screen, do you see this little colorful, you've got this white strip here and a colorful bit there. Uh, that is a gift box set, which I assume might have a drawing tablet in it. Uh, that was sent to me from XP Pen. My friend over at XP Pen sent me a, a bonus gift. And when that came from the door, I was like, do I owe somebody a tablet review? So I double checked. And I was like, no, I don't. So I never opened it. I never took the cellophane off. I was like, fine. Thank you for my gift. Put it on the shelf. On with my life. So I don't know what's in that one, but we might make that a giveaway as well. Anyway. We're big enough on quite round. Hey, thank you very much. Anyway. B -b 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 bonus box. Beep, beep, beep. Anyway. Open it now. No. So this is what I really enjoy. Some people have to know what's inside of things. And I don't have that. I don't have that need. I'm very curious in games, but in terms of life, I can walk away from stuff quite easily. Again, that's me in relationships. Guys, we're going to China. We're going to China. We're going to China. We will have a quick look at our side missions for ones which do not involve the police station in my map. Oh shit, we've got Praxis points. Oh my goodness, guys. Three Praxis points available. Now we've talked about this a little bit before. And uh, we're going to activate my big jumping legs. I'll pop it over here so you can see my full optional range of augmentations. Number one, big jumping legs. Nice. Uh, I can now jump up to three meters high and I can now get over stuff really easily. Get over it. And I'm going to bump to a level one cloaking system. Reduces the energy consumption by 40%. Five seconds per energy cell. I've got two cells. I'll be able to cloak for 10 seconds now. That's some real big boy stuff. Okay, guys. So, these cheeky sidos. <clears throat> I could go back to my flat, actually. Um, I feel like I want to drop some stuff off at my house. Maybe get rid of the uh, stun gun or something. I'm going to be bringing a lot of weaponry into China. Side quest. Cloak and daggers. Oh, the DRB weapons cache. Mmm... Uh, a meet with O'Malley. Yeah. We could do a little bit of O'Malley. Or we can go straight to China. Let's do a tiny bit of meet with O'Malley. We'll just have a quick look. How do I get downstairs? And then after that, guys, it's straight to China. Oh, is that a newspaper? No, it's a beer. It's Oh, it's beer tree beer. Did you know that um, if you get the right indoor plants, they give off beer? My inventory is full. I keep dropping off cool equipment at my flat. Uh, I might go back to my flat anyway and just drop off a little bit more before we go to China. Hope you guys are all doing well. Oh, it's a different dude at the front desk hey, from before. Hey, Mr. Jensen. Cindy left for the night about an hour ago. So did most of the others. I guess you know your way around by now, though, right? Mmm. Interesting. NZ, cyberpunk indeed. So we're in our cyberpunk future, 2027, as we build up to the next release. You get down the stairs by using the stairs. Oh, you worked it out. Oh, yeah. Good joke, good joke from Contemplate, everybody. Yeah, all right, thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, dude, how are you? Lovely to see you. Are you going to play Mankind Divided after finishing this one? You call me, I will be. So we're gonna smash through this. We're not, um, I've just said a little bit of side quest to keep it juicy, but we're focusing mostly on the main plot, just so that we can do the game and discover what's happening to society in general. 
Then we're going to dive into Mankind Divided. I'll play Mankind Divided on a PC so that I can be nice and sharp with my FPS shooting. And uh, then it'll be time for uh, 2077, so I'm very excited. We might fit in another one or maybe go back to some Witcher. I have no idea. Uh, where do I live for a start? Hmm... DRB weapons cache. Okay, I'm going to keep all my guns for the moment and we'll go into the DRB weapons cache vibe. That's fine. Those assholes live in Derelict Row? There's a police station. And there's Derelict Row. You think it might be a bit odd that um, one of the worst gang controlled areas is literally two blocks away from the police station? Kind of, oh, and I live in the Chiron building. Perfect. So I need to go down that part of the map regardless. So to do that, we need to pop through the um, tube station. Detroit Metro. Okay, let's go. Will you play some Bloodborne, my good sir? Akuma. I will, actually. Um, I follow a number of streamers who are Soulsborne-specific streamers. Um, I've loved and hated Sekiro, but I did mostly love it. Um, so I'm going to eventually play Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne. Possibly even Dark Souls 1, depending on whether it's worth my time. But uh, yeah, 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 we will be doing that. I hear it's got a beautiful aesthetic as well, just like Dark Souls. And Demon Souls as well. My ride was supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. I'm going to kill Gerald when I get home. Hmm. Hey, Tommy, are you still in chat? I've got a weird question for you. Hello, everybody. Oh, hello. Nice jacket. Is that a high man in leather? Yeah, it is. Thanks for noticing. Uh, oh, sorry, Yukami. No, no, Itami. Um, but also, Yukami, uh, yeah, I will be playing Mankind Divided. Oh, Itami, I just wanted to ask, you mentioned very specifically when you were talking about your D&D stuff that the side quest shop and the de decorating the street stuff was specifically of your own making. So, my question for you is, do you guys... Do you guys get templates? If you're going to be a D&D &D, &D master... What do you call the... Dungeon Master. Yeah, yeah, it is DM, DM, DM. If you're going to be a DM for a session, um, is it quite common to, like, purchase pre-existing packs and maps and things to make your life easier? Because the only DM that I've followed is a completely original universe uh, made by um, uh, Mechabad. So I kind of assume they all were. You know, you get the rule book, you, f you buy a rule book so that you know the rules and you know the races. And pretty much everything else is uh, down to you, question mark? Oh, lovely Detroit. With its monorail. That's never a good sign. Oh, you don't want to hear about the monorail. That's more of a Shelbyville kind of thing. I, uh, <laughs> I uh, demand you tell us about this monorail. <laughs> Oh, this is a nice place. Bear for prostitutes. And my house is... Just over here. That's for... Is this the Lim Clinic or the Chiron Building? The Chiron Building? All right, let's pop to my place really quickly. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Let's fuck up the gangbangers really quickly. Then we'll drop off guns. Maximum guns now. Fuck up gangbangers later. Also, secret... Roots? Question mark? Hmm. I think I've been here before. Yeah. Oh, because I couldn't make the jump. I couldn't make the jump before my robot legs. But now I'm William Robot Legs. I'm just going to save the game before I try jumping. Because uh, we did die last time I tried this. I'm so ready for Cyberpunk. Yeah, contemplate. I, I kind of like, I 
I love the cyberpunk aesthetic. I like a lot of cyberpunk anime. Um, I love Blade Runner and some similar stuff. However, I don't actually feel like I personally know much about cyberpunk, if that makes sense. So um, I'm really looking forward to getting immersed. Um, it feels like the kind of game that, you know, we can just put a lot of hours into. Do you know what I mean? I am um, I specifically and on purpose put a lot of my time into Final Fantasy 7 when it came out, the remake. I just smashed it all day long every day. Um, I kind of want to do something similar for Cyberpunk because I think it will probably be more rewarding than uh, FF7 was. And I'm not saying I didn't like FF7. I'm stuck on Sekiro. The guy on a horse keeps whipping me. Yeah, he was tough. He was tough. <laughs> Monodo. Monodo. <laughs> Sing it with me. Yeah, yeah. Cloud2IR. How are you doing, man? Guys, thank you so much for popping in and saying hello or joining me on our gentle afternoon investigating for prequel to Cyberpunk 2077. We're playing Deus Ex. Human Revolution. Go, 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 go. <gasps> oh, I am such a big boy. That was a great jump. We did it. I'm already in. So... Now, we killed some people through a wall here. Their bodies are still lying in shame. Oh, Nakaru. Guys, thank you very much for the follows. Hello, hello. Now, we did these assholes. I want to get... Which one of these missions is the one that actually is the uh, weapons cache? One sec. Locate the DRB weapons cache. S6. Oh, I want to go 167 meters this way. Am I in the wrong gang territory? I might be in the wrong... Wait, DRB? What does this say? DRB. No, no, let's go. I think I need to kind of go in and go around anyway. So, uh... Did you see... I didn't select that. Again, that was a button. Oh, right. You can't go down unless you have the Icarus landing system. We haven't upgraded that yet. That would be a very useful upgrade to have right now. Okay. Regardless, we are in their territory. So let's go down here. S6, 140 meters this way. Oh, I've done a lot of murdering previously on Mikey Mega Mega. Some people do that. Myself, I build my own maps via a program called Dungeon Painter. Oh, you were selling some of these assets, weren't you? So I build them all from scratch. Hmm. Naraku Sakura. I'm in class right now watching because I finished all of my work. Welcome to the future. Well done for getting your work done first. Yeah, Tsuniko. Um, there's the pacifist run and you get bonuses for not being seen on missions. We are... Uh, we're just playing the game for fun. I'm not like a hardcore gamer. I'm definitely a casual gamer because I want to enjoy a game. Sometimes that means ignoring the difficult tasks. Sometimes that means spending a million years getting distracted because I like it. But uh, for me, it's game for fun. I don't want to turn it into work. Contemplate. Thank you very much for the pity pity. Or the, uh, what is it? The victory... Victorals? you got to run. Dude, thank you very much for popping in. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. Wait a minute. Wait, S6 really is far away. Oh, there's two. There's two. Clever girls. Ah, oh, clever girls. It's this one. I was, I was in the right place. All right, mate. No, I shouldn't be here, so... I'm not technically allowed to be in here because I'm not a gang member. Where does this lead? 
access into gang territory. Might want to, uh, we might be doing some more murdering. Is it one of the Friday the 13th that's set very specifically in the sewers of a city? I'm not really familiar with those and the Freddies. Oh, hello. You're just hobos. Oh, man. That's some get up you got. Mm hmm. What you trying to hide? Ooh. My feelings. From you. Oh. Can't open that door from here. Take a look. Drink it all in. It ain't pretty, is it? Any secret control rooms around here? Hmm. I might be going. No, this is DRB territory still. Okay. Keep ah! out of this hands or get lost. Don't hide on me, Og. I'll knock him out. I won't murder him. No need to kill just yet. Ooh, credit chips. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right, let's shoot him just once in the face. Yo, if you in here, you better come out. One sec. Just once though, because we're polite. Oh, he's just man's been hidden by a, a... hearing things, seeing things. Man, I got to lay off the hard stuff. Can I do a twofer? Oh! Come on. I was hoping for one head pop and he'd drop and I'd do the other one. But that's good enough. Now, before I go over there, what's over here? Oh, hello. Gets more interesting over time. The end bit of Jensen takes Manhattan. Oh, the end bit of Jason takes Manhattan takes place in the New York sewers. It's like the last 10 minutes. Yeah, Todd, that's how I remember it. I remember it being the very end. Oh, I've just come from that way. Because uh, that was one of those things, Todd. You know when you're a young kid and it's on Channel 4 at like 2 in the morning? I remember like turning on the TV and I vaguely remember like a body's all curled up in like a fetal position. Or something where like the sewers are pouring on it. Or oh, I probably could have gone all up and in all of these things. That being said, I've done my murdering. Got to get the murdering out of the way for Christmas. Pocket secretary. Wrong button. How do I read the secretary? Whispers of conspiracy. Oh no, that's my mission. Everything is in place. The antenna is fully operational. Oh, those assholes. These are the parts of the gang that were conspirators, conspirators with the organized group which was hacking us from Highland Park, which is where we've just come back from. So killing those ones is fine. Am I getting closer to either of these S objectives? Let's punch our way to victory. Nice. Oh. <gasps> Praxis kit! Mate! And credit chips. And credit chips! Guys, we can do a cheeky upgrade for our visual prosthesis. Let's upgrade this so that we can see through walls. Because if we combine that, with our wall punch, we get to do wall through takedowns. We've actually done one before. Man, this is a good ship. This is what the game's all about. Like, cybernetically changing yourself. Smart vision. See through walls. Oh, it costs two. It costs two. Okay, smart vision later. We'll hold on to that practice for now. Kill it. We want blood. Talk to the raccoon. Lovely to see you, man. What happened to just one? Just one side mission. Just one death. He gets drenched in toxic sewage and it transforms him back into being a child. 
Oh, you've just explained like one of those, you know, those memories that go in the vault. You've just explained another vault memory for me, mate. Thank you very much. What do you think of doing a ses session of your own? Because if you need a map or two made, you can talk to me. Assist in any way I can, teach the rules, building maps, and of course, how to DM. Thank you very much, bruv. Uh, no, 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 I'm not considering it. Or at least not yet. I know a lot of live streamers are also D&D &D enthusiasts. Like most streamers I follow belong to a D&D &D group of some sort. Um, but uh, mate, I don't have that time. Man, I love murdering all these assholes. How am I so... I'm even further away from both S6 and S6 over here than I have ever been in my whole life. Let me get my map out. I'm in DRB territory. Where the juice are my objectives? Level three. Level four. Helipad. Am I in the wrong gang? I need another Wii, would you believe? I think I'm in the wrong gang. Chip. All right, guys. Let me go for a quick wee because I'm smashing all the water. I'll fill up my water bottle and we'll be right back again. Thanks for bearing with. It just, when I need to go, I gotta go. <laughs> it just hits me. You're never good enough is the slogan of the game. That's the magic of the opportunity to upgrade. Make us stronger than ever before. I can't find my lip balm. I've just found it. It was under this. Okay. Okay. 
Let me look at these missions one more time. Locate the DRB weapons cache. I found a way inside Derelict Row. Now I just need to look around for the place where they stash the weapons. Meet with O'Malley. Locate O'Malley's apartment. Remain undetected. Nope. Locate the weapons cache. So meet with O'Malley and locate O'Malley's apartment. I like the two ones that are currently active. And the, the idea that the DRB have a weapons cache is no longer the main thing on my mission menu? Let me put my gun away. These objectives are 200 meters in front of where I'm facing. Let me go on the map. I don't think these objectives are showing up on my map. 200 meters this way. Yeah, it's physically outside. It's physically not here, huh? Uh, okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie, pig in a pokey. In that case then, let's leave. I wonder if Malik would meet me on the roof again. Can't take that. This is where I murdered all the kids. What's up here? How are you getting on, Jem? Are you okay? What are you up to today? Jem, are you cooking? Any food? It's the afternoon. It's nice and early. Or even morning for some people in America. How are you all getting on? How's the start of your lovely days going? Welcome to the Vibe Vibe. Oh god, it's f fucking air pad. I'm just... Any chance Malik will actually come get me? Oh, bloody tits and arse. Okay. Hey, I'm Adam Jensen, and I'm a little bit turned around. This is going very well. Don't worry. Okay, so instead of this door, is this a door? Oh! Someone over there. Oh, I'm in a new area. Oh, I could hear someone walking around. Where's this? Must have imagined it. Interesting. Let's knock him out. I think someone else saw me. Well, well, well. Have I got any grenades? Uh, concussion grenade, whiskey. No, I have to cancel my whiskey selection. Otherwise, I end up drinking it. EMP, just concussion and EMP. I'll hold off for the moment. <laughs> uh, uh. Now I'm feeling it. Okay, guys. Ammo, thank you very much. What about this dude? Money, thank you very much. I love stealing money from people. Especially poor gangs. If you live in an area of poverty, I will steal from you. My name's Adam Jensen. Eh. Where the hell am I now? Where on earth am I... 
doing? Oh! Hello! <laughs> How'd you figure through the streets, Al? <laughs> Why are you behind that desk? I shot a kid. It was dark. He had one of those toy ray guns. It looked real enough. Hmm, okay, let's go. Wait, didn't I just murder someone right here a minute ago? I'm going in a murder circle. All right, let's go out this door then. All I'm trying to do is leave. I, I just want to go home, man. <laughs> I need to go to China. I can't die here. I'm supposed to go to China. Oh. Oh. Keep out of this hamper. Get lost. He's telling me to keep out of it, even though I've just totally knocked his mate out. Eva, love you. Hey, question one. How you doing? Good evening. You know, I'd love to see you read the old Goosebump books from R.L. Stein. Ooh. I never read them, but they got turned into a, a TV series called Round the Twist. I think it was an Australian show, and I used to watch that. And there's one about a fox. Uh, someone's got, like, a fur coat made from a fox, and this kid has, like, an orange tree that brings it to life or something? Fuck. Fuck. And the more he puts oranges in the cupboard, the more the, where the coat is kept, the more the coat turns back into a fox. And I think, like, it still has buttons for eyes, so it's blind. And I remember there's, like, a... This is a kid's TV show, but I remember the kid opens a cupboard... And the blind fox with the button eyes is, like, moving around. That fucking... It didn't scare me, but it, like... I never forgot that image. I never forgot that image. It kind of stayed with and in me. So I know it's aimed at kids. I don't know if I want to read the Goosebumps books. I don't know if I need that in my life, mate. Have you ever... Uh, uh, ever felt like this? Strange things happen when you're going round the twist. Oh, have you heard the word about the bird and the spider? It wriggled and jiggled, wriggled inside her. Have you ever, eh, ever felt like this? Anyone? Okay, guys, so I was in the wrong area and I was shooting the wrong gang. All the hookers are scared. This one's an undercover police officer. Don't you pretend to be scared. If I shoot her in the face, that will cancel all of my side missions. Because she's the one who gave them to me. Okay, one minute. Let's go back and uh, find the nasty man. Oh, hello. I hope you ain't here looking for trouble, my friend. That would be a mistake you don't want to make. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Am I endlessly going in the uh, wrong way? Endlessly, I love you hopelessly. Someone's left the lights on. I won't give you up. Come on, baby. Won't let you down. Does anybody remember Muse? They have some fucking great albums, does Muse. That's my muse impression. Okay. So, guys, you might be thinking, Mikey, what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to come across a particular shady individual. S6, 100 meters in front of me this way. Let's go back to the map. Oh, 
O'Malley's over there. But his flat's over there. Okay, O'Malley first. O'Malley first. Then the flat. Got it, got it, got it. This is going to work out very, very well, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry one bit. Ooh, just a corpse. That has a pocket secretary. How do I read these really quickly? I have to go into my media log now, ever since I've got my cloak. Answer your damn cell, Ron. Don't do anything stupid. Just go to a real hospital. You need some serious help. Listen, I'm in pain right now. Telling you it's unbearable. I'm sure they fucked it up. They put in the wrong something. I got the number to their chop shop. 2356. I'm going to get in there and fix these motherfuckers going to fix this. Oh, no. He's had black market neuropazine or some black market surgery and he tried to be the big man and take care of it and somebody somewhere dumped his body i don't have time to chat oh yeah you're so busy anyway where's that guy's flat okay oh this again didn't we do oh yeah 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 <laughs> Okay, one second, my friends. I think there's just a better way to get to this guy's apartment. Oh, down by the police office. Turn left. Okay, never mind. Well, at least we found a corpse. Excuse me, officer. Are you aware that there's a dead body just meters away from the police HQ? Keep that weapon holstered, sir. We've had enough action. I don't think he cares. I don't think anybody cares in this city. There he is. Yes. May I help you? Actually, I've been told by a mutual acquaintance that it might be the other way around. Were Round you the followed? twist isn't goosebumps. Really? There's a movie of Jack Black. I thought Round the Twist was based off of the Goosebumps books. Goosebumps had their own TV show based on the books, but they were made in Canada. Oh, I've seen one. Um, can we get a shout out for... Um, but who's Bonnie? What's Bonnie's... Um, does anybody know the artist Bonnie? I've just forgotten her account name. I remember the person. Is it Miss Cookie's art? It's Miss Cookie's art. My brain's dying. I'm so sorry. She um she watched an episode where these kids played a board game in the woods in the, inside of a tree. And the board game affects the weather and what's happening outside the tree. <gasps> There's another spider on my other boom arm. He's doing that creepy leg thing. He's just small enough, but I'll still grab him. But we'll do that in a minute. And, uh, like, this kid was stuck playing the board game for a thousand years or something. For a hundred years. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Anyway, Steve, how you doing, man? Let him live in his own private Idaho. Wait, is that a reference to a film? What? Come on. Steve, how you doing, man? Lovely to see you. Anyway, let's give him the old, uh... Confident... No, let's do the cold thing. I'm a professional. I know how things work. So if we can just skip Cloak and Dagger 101... Woke up for a lurk. Well, Thank you, Tutor Demo. Well, certainly look the part. Now let's see how well you can play it. So what is it you need? Straight to business. A rare quality these days. Tell me, are you familiar with local gangs? More than enough to get by. Perfect. Now, I warn you, this is not the cleanest of work, but your efforts will be well compensated. An associate of mine will leave a package for you in an alley on Grand River Road. You will retrieve this package and then use it to deal with a problem of mine. Permanently. Who's the target? Someone who won't be missed, I assure you. A ganger that goes by the name Double T. Hangs around in an apartment near Earl's Court. It's not likely that he'll be alone. Just as it's not likely the people keeping him company will be of the pleasant sort. You can't miss him. 
He's got prominent and rather tasteless augmentations to his face and arms. Mm. You're telling me you went through all this trouble to hire me just so I can eliminate a <clears> banger? <throat> that would be a tad overkill, I admit. No, eliminating the target with the weapon provided to you is only the first part of your assignment. Once you've dealt with Double T, I need you to sneak into Derelict Row and plant the murder weapon among the baller's weapon stash, unnoticed. Kill a member of the Motor City Bangers, then plant the murder weapon in the rival gang's weapon stash. You're trying to start a war. Hopefully. Interesting. Let's do it. I guess that's it for now. I'm happy to start a war for this man, even though we're trying to put him away in prison by doing undercover work. Uh, next step in the mystery of Mikey's journey is all in this direction. Okay. Let's get to something something from the alley. Oh, that's a wall. Nice. I don't think I could jump up here before. Oh, let's hack. I think I'm looking for his apartment as well. 60% detection setting. Let's go over here. Here we go. 60% likelihood. I think same here. And then we just need to get here. I'm just going to bust it as quick as possible. Oh, lucky. Fuck. Seven seconds. Access granted. Nice. Oh. No. I've snuck. Oh my god, I've snuck into the police station from the roof. <laughs> We've gone back to the police station. Uh, Zafura, is that who? Miss Cookies? No, no, no. Miss Cookies is a great art streamer. Um, I was talking about Bonnie. Uh, who's. Uh, wait, let me just open this other. Guys, it turns out we're doing the police station. However. We have just come in from the roof. We are actually very close to our police station objective. So this is what you were talking about you today, Mo. Let me just open this link. No, I don't even know who this is. This is just a random Twitch channel who doesn't stream. No, no, I remember. Come on, I've got it in my list. I'll have it in my um list of people that I follow down here. It's not even that important. I just wanted to mention her because she'd shown some Goosebumps episodes. And I remember her name, but literally just like my old man brain often fails. I often lose a lot of connections these days. It's an unfortunate symptom of something. Let's have a quick look down here. Good old... Oh, I follow so many people. Good old. Oh, do you know what? You can only open your follow list so far. You can't see your entire list. Anyway, I feel like you were very close when you were saying cookies. No, Hatari, Hatari off. Don't leave, don't leave. We are in a much more prominent position than we were before. This time, over oh, board game movie is Zafura. Yeah, is that based off of the Goosebumps? Okay, there's two different... You Look, you've gone into two different conversations. Thus spake, thus spake Zafura, or Zafura the board game, is a spiritual successor to Jumanji. Now, yeah, blah, 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 Jumanji 2, sure. But Zafura is Jumanji in space. I quite like that film. I quite enjoyed that. I vaguely remember. I only ever watched it once. Um, But it's not. that's not the episode of Goosebumps that I'm thinking of. Anyway, yeah, don't leave. We are we are doing very well. Let me get my practice points out. Now, guys, understand with me. We were sneaking up through here, up the stairs, and we were constantly getting in trouble with a room full of officers makes the court judicial system go round. And we had to sneak past to get up here and do shit. I don't even know what this... This is the front office. Nightmare. Nightmare. Then we had to go up here and get to here. But now, fucking William Dreamboat. 
Number one in command. Bang. We've already... We're already on the right floor. Absolutely do the roof. There's always more than one way to skin a cat in this game. And you have to kind of think your way around. Shoot a demo. Thanks for holding on. Okay, Hatari Fulf. We got it this time. We got it. Oh, by the way, I might... I'm going to save right now for a start. <clears throat> and what I might do is spend... Now, depending on if we fail immediately, I might spend my practice point on upgrading my stealth sound legs. One of your leg upgrades is that you can just make your walking even quieter. So that might be pretty good. I'm being smug right now. Number one smuggeroon. We got this, everybody. No, no, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was me pressing X. I'm just excited to be here. Let's go back into this vibe. Okay, there we go. Okay. Nothing we can't deal with regarding that camera. Step one is good. Mikey wants a cup of tea. I'm just going to micro cloak for a bit. Just to get around there. This is for concourse. This is it. Now, I think there's a police officer on my level doing a to and fro. better bloody believe I'm going to get my sweet ass in this grate. Oh, we definitely need to sneak. It's all about staying off the radar because this building is so full of police officers. <gasps> I think this is his office. Let's stay ducked in case he walks past the window. Pistol, ammo. Our pen. That might be the dude. Let's hack this business, guys. Michael should get a cup of tea then. Um, we're, we haven't got an crazy amount of time left in today's episode. So we're going to do two episodes because I, I definitely have the energy and I'm enjoying this much more than I was last night. Um, but we will take a micro break in a minute. Level two hacking, my delicious friend. 60% chance of detection. I could nuke it. I need to get down there. I need to unlock the counter hacking thing because instead of hacking for objectives, I can actually hack my way to this and it gains every single bonus. Uh, disconnect. Can I afford that with my practice point right now? One Before we do this, let's go on my Jensenography. Which one of these is to do with hacking? Robot domination. Capture hack level four. Detection feedback. Analyze data stores. Select any data store to view its content. Select a node to see the chances of detection. Stealth hacking. Decreases the chance of detection when capturing. Oh! This is big. This is big. Decreases the chance of detection when capturing or fortifying nodes. What's this one? Stealth Enhancer. Displays stealth-related information. Cones of vision. Oh, that's to do with sneaking around. Stealth hacking. Stealth hacking. Cost one. Let's do it. And so now, hopefully these won't be at 60%. Do you know what? I, I do quite like this game. It is, it is clunky, it is old, it's not perfect, but it really, it really tried, do you know what I mean? 45%, fingers crossed. Fuck! <laughs> 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 
Actually, I've got loads of time. Yeah, we're fine. Access granted. Lovely. If anything goes wrong, remember it's for controller. Come on now. <laughs> Let's not come back to that. To Captain Ryan Penn of the Detroit Metro Police Department. Captain, following the recent incident at Sarif Industries, the body of an unidentified male terrorist was delivered to your morgue. You are hereby advised that this corpse has been classified ultraviolet under revised Homeland Security. In keeping of Article 7, Section 3, don't jiggle with the corpse. I might be in the wrong computer. Sir, today marks the second time this year when I've been prevented from doing my job following an attack on Seraph Industries. If there exists some question about my skill level or my ability to be discreet, or the way I run my lab, I demand it be brought to my attention. That's the more guy we spoke to. El Gato. Oh, this is it. Over and done, Captain. Due to the present sensitive context, it is our recommendation that case TA-00514 regarding the terrorist attack on Sarif Industries be filed and closed ASAP. In our opinion, the con- Ooh, there's a dude walking along! In our opinion, the conclusions proposed at this stage of the investigation are satisfactory. I have appointed a state medical examiner to perform the autopsies on the victims. It's a critical situation. We must try to keep the information contained as tightly as possible. I'm certain you understand the public relations nightmare this implies and will act promptly and accordingly have your men reassigned by the end of the day. Oh my god. That's the data. Ebook. Hearts of Steel in the dawn. The morning light through the windows was like was rich like the colours of autumn. Meredith lay in it. Ah! <gasps> It's erotic Christian pornography. Where's Chameleon S when you need her? Meredith. Can somebody turn my lights to red? Meredith lay in it. A snarl of sheets around her body. Jace's arm. The steel arm. Across her bare thigh. Like a discarded weapon. She traced up the cyber limb. And across the place where the metal met flesh. The seam of the join rough and tanned. Jay stirred and awoke. His craggy face softened. What's wrong? Meredith felt a peculiar mix of sadness and elation. A tightness in her chest, as if she was on the verge of tears. I... I was afraid you might hurt me. He was shocked. Betty, no, I would never. She wanted to look away, but she couldn't. I... I don't know what I'm feeling. He took her by the hand, out of the bed, up across to the window. I do, he said, bringing her lips to his. <sighs> well, well, well. Good to know. Is that a credit chip? Thank you. Let's get the hell out of here, guys. Um, I've done it. I've got the data I needed to... I think I'm going to go to the front desk. And rub it like the evidence in his face now or something? Oops, sorry. Motherly ties. Looks like I found out everything I can about Megan's murder. Cassandra's waiting for me in the lobby of my apartment. Oh, brilliant! Because I'm going to go to the lobby of my apartment anyway to drop off some of the guns. We will do that after... Oh, actually, I need to do that now so that I've got some inventory space. So that I can pick up the special item. Ooh, my goodness. But it's going to help me to um, convict this uh, corrupt officer. Oh, God. Oh, I can just go invisible. That is one convenient invisibility cloak. I'll tell you, kids. I'll tell you. Wow, we've gotten really far in. Yeah, sorry guys, only subs can change for lights, but thank you for trying. Spam hands, thank you very much for actually trying. Hypex! Well, well, well. I feel like, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like we haven't touched bases in a really long time. I'm not bad, dude, how are you getting on?
I can't complain. We're just taking it really easy this afternoon, enjoying some retro cyberpunk video games uh, as we wait for Cyberpunk 2077. What are you up to? How are you guys all doing, you lovely things? Welcome to the Chill Friday Zone. Right, let's go to the Chiron building. Uh, which <laughs> Mikey gets turned around. Down here, left, and right along the main streets. Got it. Oh, let me try that again. Come on. Come, Mr. Jensen. Can you see now that I've got that leg augmentation? I can just jump over everything. We couldn't actually do that quite so freely until I got that uh, sweet, sweet upgrade. Hello there, sir. The biomar industry is going to tear this city apart. Mark my words. Mm-hmm. He's not wrong. Come on, handsome. I'll take your mind off your troubles. Hmm. She's the undercover police officer. We'll report back to her later. I need to talk to my uh, dead girlfriend's mum. I'm decent. I'm kind of dealing with some really unpleasant stuff IRL, but aside from that, I'm fine. Good to hear you're doing well. Mate, I hope whatever it is, it goes as well as it possibly can, man. Like, uh, I think everybody who's, you know, at least 18 or older at this point in their lives. And I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to dissuade from what you're saying. But like, um, oh, man, we've all got shit to deal with, right? It's it's on all of us at some point or another. So, uh, yeah, dude, I hope it goes well. Much love. And uh, thank you very much for popping in and saying hello. Good day, Draken Bahumat. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. It's always worth just double checking the paper updates. Anti org terrorist at large. Oh, that's old news. That was the guy that I let go. Oh, here she is. Have you found anything? Please. I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? Hmm. Uh, I couldn't get through to the guy. Oh, we can kind of lie to her. The attackers seem to have used excessive measures. A witness suddenly couldn't remember a thing. I'm, I felt I'm probably going to tell her all of them, but I'll start with this one. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. Stay cozy. Hey. Heads up on hacking uh, of the red subroutine node. You can't upgrade hacking to be able to hack it. It's dependent on how the bridges between the nodes are. There's no other way. Pale ride pa Paleridius Paleridius Paleriderus Paleriderus Pale Rider US <laughs> I'm so sorry Thank you Pale Rider Thank you very much for saying because I probably would have wasted about 10 to 15 minutes in a menu trying to find it otherwise It needs to be a two way uh, hacking route right Dude thanks for saying that I appreciate because I don't really recognize your name too much so I appreciate you're probably just a lurker um, so I never bother lurkers, but thank you for coming out of lurk to give me that heads up. That's quite useful. Spam hands agrees. Okay. Vivacious Alice, were you here? Go to sleep, you sweet sexy thing. Okay. I'll give it a rest of it. There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. A second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is... By the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. 
The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? Oh, poor lady. I don't lady. know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. Mm. Chase told me an officer assigned to the case may have been less than professional. But it was a dead end. I couldn't get through to the guy. Well, I'm sure you did what you could, Adam. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power. Who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. It's all right, Adam. I'm sure you did all you could. At least now I know my instincts were right. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? In absolute agony. So guys, that dead end one that I just told her about, that's because I didn't get the evidence off of the dude's computer to then put in his face at the front desk. I kind of forgot that because it just sort of updated the status of the mission, so I thought we'd done everything we needed to. Her neck was snapped and her body was burned. She didn't suffer, I promise you that. Guys, are we going to tell this lady that her daughter didn't suffer? Or are we going to tell this lady that her neck was snapped? I'm, I'm going to go with you guys. The first one to drop a, a snap or a, or a you know, non-suffer. Mikey's forgetting his... Yeah, I, I'm quite forgetful. Snap it is. Snap it is. Her neck was snapped and her body was burned beyond recognition with a high-tech compound. Oh, God. <laughs> How can someone do something so awful to another person? <laughs> I miss her. So much. Oh, I'm so... I'm so sorry. But then... <laughs> I didn't expect her reaction to be so heartfelt. <laughs> oh, God, Adam. <laughs> oh. We've, uh, well, we've gone down this alley. We can't turn away now. So do I. But there's not much we can do about that. Oh, Adam, there's a lot more you can do. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. Okay, guys, that's on you. That one is on you, not on me. You've earned a trophy, motherly ties. Guys, we've wrapped up another cheeky mission. Why is being an idiot in video games so satisfying? Yeah, especially older games, for some reason, it's even better. So guys, really quickly, let me go to my flat. We've come basically to the end of tonight's episode. We're about to have a tea break before we play another session. But I need to drop off some weapons in my flat to free up some inventory. We'll do uh, a little bit more of the uh, corrupt cop thing. I can't believe it was so easy doing the police station from the top compared to the bottom. And uh, then we're going to get our sweet selves over to China. It's so creepy that you're just hanging around outside my flat. And why is this... This is what you call, lady, a corridor that leads to a door. It's called an interstitial space in architecture. It's a space that you move through, not a space that you occupy. Hello, so the fact that she's there is weird. Anyway. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. Hi. I have the best flat. I have the best apartment. Okay, so here's my cache of things that I've got. Let me just drop some more junk. Now, if I'm going to go to China, I'm probably going to murder people, not just knock them out. So a stun gun can go. And anything stun related. Pistol ammo, that's excessive. Peps energy pack. Pro energy bars, EMPs, tranquilizer darts, a mine, 
uh, hacking software, painkillers, virus software, typhoon ammo. I don't actually have a typhoon yet, so I can drop that. Rockets! I don't have a rocket launcher, so let's put that down for the moment. Alcohol. Ugh, it's just taking up a slot. Automatic unlocking device. Shotgun shells. EMP. Revolver ammo. Combat rifle ammo. Yeah. Hmm. Should I uh, drop one of these guns? I might drop the pistol and just hold on to the revolver for the moment. And you, ne you never know what you're going to pick up, right? And I'm sure I'm going to find a pistol in China if uh, push comes to shove. Okay, so there's some more cool shiz. What's that back there? More painkillers, huh? Uh, okay, that is about it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me in today's episode of Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. We are going to do that side mission I just mentioned about the corrupt police officer and continue the main plot, specifically trying to find more clues about what happened on our way to China. You lovely people on YouTube, I will see you then. And remember, never forget...